Ah, fuck it. For my upcoming lower video, I will, uh, not lower video, for my upcoming comment, I wanted to explain how the ultimate move works that's gonna happen in the comic. Um, let's also explain, uh, Kenshi's powers and abilities, just a little, a little bit about him before I finally end my comment, because I finished it earlier, so. You ready to see that video? Kenshiong's internal slap. It's his last final technique. As a swordsman, your other two hands are essential, but this sacrifices your left hand. Not necessarily your left hand, but like half of your left hand. Leaving only your thumb left, basically, on your hand. That uh, the requirements for this ability is having a heavy injury, a lot of blood coming out, because what fuels this move is blood. And a full suit. Oh, shit. You have to be willing to lose honor because it's an instant kill ability. And it's far range ability. It's not It's not a sword ability. It's basically like a ritual sacrifice. And willing to kill the enemy. Also, willing to lose your life because at that point, you should be heavily injured and it'll suck out even more blood. So when you're done using this move, you're basically 6 liters out of blood, which is basically dead. And last is the Kenshin Shirama. This, this, um, this is for someone else. This is for the other Kenshin Shirama, because the other Kenshin Shirama, he's not the real guy. He just inherited the powers. So, because of this, when you say become Kenshi Shirami, you basically, your whole personality will be locked in a corner and your ancestor, your ancestor's like personality will take over you and you will literally become him. The channel slash looks like this where he sword draws. It's one single sword draw that doesn't even hit the opponent, but it does. Hard to explain. Well, hard to show. Uh, well, not really. You get it. I'll show you that. Next comment. This is from Fight Team. Perfect parry. Here's the tip of the sword to uh, is it? to push away or redirect any sword to slap it. Now this is usually impossible by normal people because I've seen sword fights multiple, and usual sword fights you would use the front of the blade to block or redirect it to main like middle of the blade, but he could only use the tip. That could only use the tip. He only uses the tip to show how good he is. He directs it with the tip of his sword. He pushes it with the tip of his sword. The absolute precision you would have to have. After he pushes the tip of his sword, so he pushes forward on the left with his um sword blocking the incoming retreating sword. While getting closer he puts his leg right on the dude's chest and then pushes the dude away, cuts off his wrist, and finishes him off one final blow. That's basically how Kenshi Shuami fights. He has perfect parries, he's fine with kicking and stuff, but it's, you know it's just normal swordmanship except the perfect carry part. Not just because I'm feeling a little bit feisty. I guess I could do Stella too. Let's see Stella open. Yep, so, okay. Girl's name is Stella Arthur. Descendant of King Arthur. Yeah, I only know the Fate series basically did something similar like this, so I had to change up everything. So Stella Arthur is one of the prestigious families, equal to Kenshi Shirami's family. And from this, they had ties with each other, and one day, Kenshi Shirami was out and about playing in the playground, and Stella came out of nowhere, beating up all the other kids for some reason. I'm gonna try to explain it, even though it doesn't make any sense, but we'll figure that, that out later if I make my comment. This is Stella. 
Get long hand, one right there, and then it's two long ones right here, and then bangs. Yeah, inside of the eye is a crown. That's when you know it's very The long sword splits into multiple pieces, and Excalibur, basically, when you read Inheritance, or when you read into Inheritance, your Inheritance powers is based off the stories that are given to you. So if you find out the realistic reason why the sword was good or whatnot, then you basically, it'll be really hard to be powerful. For example, let's say the Philosopher's Stone was a stone that um, could change matter and time itself. You read upon that story, but then you read more in detail about it in the history books, and you find out it was just a stone that shot out poison that made people hallucinate those powers. So, if you didn't read that book, if you didn't know about that story, the realistic version of the story, then you would have the powers to manipulate time and whatnot, and, and all that itself. But there's like an equilateral, because you can manipulate time, or you could have the poison, which literally makes people hallucinate. I don't know, pick one, pick your poison, pick one that you want to master. But it's usually a disadvantage to learn the historical reason, or the realistic reason. Because it can give you that mystical power and whatnot of stories. And this is a battle between Kenji Shuami and Stella. Her blade shoots these shards that um, she can control at will. And basically they refract a light at such a high intensity, it basically turns into laser saws. And that's what people are doing right now. Earth step. Yeah, Kenshiyon. Uh, I should be wrong about. has multiple uh, abilities with his shoes, his clothing, because uh, his whole journey is just him basically getting stuff and getting legendary stuff in the school items that increase his capabilities more than a normal soldier. And her last, final, secret ability. She will reflect light at such a rate on her hilt handle, which is basically makes which basically makes a lightsaber. If Sean barely blocked it and had to be forced to block it with the bottom of his sword. You can see it's been cut a bit. Ooh, that was close. Uh, yeah. At first the uh, Stella's Stella's personality. Stella's personality is usually a cold personality. He's like a could be. He's basically usually emotionist and very vicious to people. But she's kind of less vicious to, I guess, Kenshi Shirami because she respects those that are in power. If she sees you as an equal, she treats you as an equal. If she doesn't, she'll just like go away at you. That's basically her personality. Next person is going to be probably Rem and my comic. I remember correctly. Well, that's basically it. I'm gonna try to upload more. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to put more effort. 